In this video, we will see how we can read structured text files like the CSV formatted files, which are comma separated values. So far, we have been reading regular text files. And when we used our scanner, when we used one of the methods, for example, the next method, the next method will read whatever we have the pointer at, the reader at, until the next white space. So the value or the separator between our values is the white space, whether it's a new line, a space, or a tab. When we are dealing with structured text files, the separator could be any different separator or delimiter. So it's a special character, the delimiter or the separator is a special character that separates one value from the next. What we are going to do, we will be reading one line at a time, and for each line, we will read separate tokens. Each token is separated with a a delimiter that we specify in that file. So if we are reading CSV files, the CSV file is separated by commas, so each value is separated from the next value by a comma. So it's not white space anymore, it will be comma separated values, and that's why we call it a CSV or comma separated um, values file. So once we read the line from our file, this line we can store it in a string, and this string could be a source for another scanner that would read from that string. So this string will be now a new source for a scanner, and this scanner will be using the separator, the comma separator, to read values from that um, line. So we can use the hasNext method to determine if we have more tokens to be able to read, but since the default de delimiter is um, white space characters, we'll need to specify a new delimiter. So we'll use another method here called useDelimiter, and it will take a pattern as a string value, and this is the separator between our values. So if we are separating between our values with commas, we'll be passing the comma in here in this uh, method. So let's try that in Eclipse. Before I start reading from a file, let's actually create a string that has um, comma separated values. So I'm gonna create a string and let's call that string line. And in that line, I'll be passing a comma separated values. So let's say we have um, one, two, three. This is the number, the name, Sam, their age, for example, um, 15, and then their city. So these are the comma separated values that I have. So this is my line. So we are assuming that we are getting this line from a file, but for now to make it easier, we'll just have this string as our line. So we have a string with separate values inside it. Each value is separated from the next one with a comma. So now we can use this line as an input to our scanner. So I'm going to create a scanner here. Scanner scan equals new scanner. And now my source of input is not the system.in. It's not the console. It's not a file. It will be this line. So this string will be my source of input. And I want to read from this line values. Each value is separated from the next one with a comma. So by default, my scanner will have the separator as white space. Now, since my separator here is not white space, I will need to specify that separator using the use delimiter method. So scan dot use delimiter, and then in these parentheses, I'll put the pattern that separates these values. Notice the separator is actually a comma. So in these double quotations, I'll put a comma and that's my separator. So now we have the scanner that is reading from this line. And the separate values that we have are separated by this comma. So every time I have a comma, I'll be going or ending that value. So I can have a while loop in here. So while my scanner scan dot has next. So while we have a next value, what we want to do, we want to read that next value and print it out. So I can create here a string and call it value. And then value will be equal to scan dot next. So we'll start with the first one. We read from the beginning of the um, line here until we reach the comma, which is my separator. This is the next value. When we are done, we will go to the next. Do we have a next value? So do we have a value after this comma? We do. So we'll keep reading until we reach the comma and so on. So I'm going to print this value that we read system dot out dot print line and then we'll print that value so let's save and run 
you'll see it's printing the values, one value, each value on its own line. So we read this value, it's considered a separate value from this one, from this one, and from this one. So now that we know how we can get these comma separated values from a line, we can actually get this line from a comma separated values file. So in here I have created a file one.csv. This is the extension CSV, which is a comma separated values. If you go to the um, location of that folder and actually try to open that file, you'll be able to open that file in Excel and you'll see how it's represented like a tabular format. So these comma separated values are in the same um, line. If you add another line in here, for example, 222, Mike, 14, and let's say Chicago. If I save this, this is another line. If you try to open it using a text editor, so in here I'm gonna click on open with, and I'm gonna open it with notepad, you'll see the values are separated by commas, so comma separated values. If you add anything in here, so 333 comma um, Tim comma 16 and comma normal again, if you save it and open it in Excel, it will display as another line, which is each one of them in its own column. So going back to Eclipse, we want to read these lines from the file line by line, like we did before. So we'll have a while loop to iterate through these lines. So the first step is actually to create a scanner. So scanner, and let's call it file reader. And this will be a new scanner. And this is reading from a file. So we can create a new file in here directly using the constructor and my file location is or the file path is file1.csv. Remember, when you have this, you have to surround it with try and catch. So I'm gonna surround this with um, try and catch. I can also put this whole code in my try block. So now we want to check while our line or our file reader has an X value. we want to read the line. So all this will be inside this try block. So while our file reader has an X value, we want to read the line. So my line is not this anymore. My line will be coming from the file reader dot next line. So file reader dot next line. So again, we are creating a file reader scanner called, or a scanner called file reader that is reading from this file, file1.csv. While this file has an X value, we want to read that next line, store it in a string called line. We are using this line in our scanner, a new scanner called scan. We are using the delimiter comma. So this line that we are reading, the uh, values are separated by commas. And then we are checking, do we have an X value in that line? If we have, we are getting that value and we are printing it out to the console. So let's try this and run it. And you will see it's printing all the values, each value in its own um, line. 